In this video, Cheryl and I are going to show you how to do a clamshell with a concentric push. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen clamshells before, but we just want to make one point here. When you're in your clamshell, you want to be resting against something because you don't want your hips to go too far forward or roll them too far back. So your hips should be stacked vertically on each other. And then your ankle are together, and a clamshell is just you know raising your knee up and coming down. But we're going to do this with a, a concentric push. So I'm going to put pressure on Cheryl's knee, up and down. Putting pressure, she comes up, that's two, down. I'm putting pressure, up and down. So that's a clamshell with a concentric push. In this video, Cheryl and I are going to show you a clamshell with an eccentric push. So a clamshell is just, Cheryl's going to raise her knee and come down, so that's a clamshell. But in this case, Cheryl's going to raise her knee and I'm going to push it back down. She's going to resist. Okay, that's an eccentric push. She's going to raise it and I'm going to push back. Okay, so we're going to do three reps of this. Ready, Cheryl? So that's one. She's going to come up. I release it. I press down. Two, and she's resisting. Release it, and I press down, and there's three. So that's a clamshell with an eccentric push. In this video, Cheryl and I are going to show you how to do a clamshell with a transitional movement. Now, a transitional movement is our terminology for when I'm going to keep constant pressure on Cheryl's knee as she brings it up and, re and releases it back down. Are you ready, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to keep yeah. constant pressure and go. There's one, I'm keeping constant pressure, two, and three. So that's a clamshell with a transitional movement. In this video, Cheryl and I are going to show you how to do a clamshell with a transitional movement with an isometric hold at the top of the movement. So this is going to be a transitional movement, and we're going to hold an isometric hold at the top of this movement. We're going to choose five seconds, but you can choose you know, whatever isometric length that you want based on your capabilities. Are you ready, Cheryl? Ready. Okay. So I'm going to keep constant pressure. She's coming up. Now we're going to hold. One, one thousand. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, constant pressure, constant pressure back up, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, pressuring down, okay? So that is a clamshell with our transitional movement with an isometric hold at the top of the movement. In this video, Cheryl and I are going to show you a clamshell with a transitional movement and an isometric hold at the bottom of the movement. Okay, so you ready, Cheryl? Ready. Okay, so I'm going to keep constant pressure and up, pressuring, and pushing it down. Now at this point, we're going to hold 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, pressuring down, constant pressure up, pressure down, holding 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, and 5, 1,000, okay? The isometric length of the hold is up to you. It's based on your capabilities. So this is a clamshell with our transitional movement, the isometric hold at the bottom of the movement. 